Hello and welcome to Sketchpad. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial of how you can use Sketchpad to create a rose effect to send to your sweetheart or to create a background for your desktop. So first thing we're going to do is go to the top right hand corner where you'll find the stamp tool. We've arranged a collection of different um, stamp categories for you here um, submitted by different graphic design artists all of which are linked by here in the orange text. Now you can also even create your own stamps by going up to your files, but today we're going to go to the leaf section and go down to the hook. Then go down to the spacing, pull that down to one, and now every pixel I move the stamp will be placed. But this isn't quite exactly what we want. We want it to look like a rose. So I go to the top left, click on this color palette tool, select a gradient, and try again. Now we have a nice looking rose going on here. Now if I want to make this bigger I just increase the diameter and now we have a big rose and some medium sized roses and maybe some different colored roses. Now you can also go ahead and select this this rose here and you can play around with the different options like translation and scaling and rotation after the fact, after you've created it. Or even switch it to a different stamp. This also will create different effects like different kind of flowers or weird, just all sorts of different interesting things that can be created really, really quickly and can be a lot of fun. So. What I'm going to do now is just select everything, copy it using the native control C on Windows or command C on Mac and paste it with control C or V depending on your, your platform and as you can see there's twice as many roses. Now I'm going to do this a couple more times just to fill my screen up with roses. Now, as you can see, the whole screen is filled with roses, and and uh, you can do this really easy if you want to, and it's kind of fun. So I hope you enjoy. Happy sketching.